Hey, I'm Sasha, and this is how to make Doc Ock arms. If we turn on the overlays, these empties are controlling the main arm, and this object here, if you rotate on the X, uh, will control the claws opening and closing, and then the main open and close is controlled by the X movement. So, to get started, let's turn this off, and we will actually start with a curve path. And if we go in here, you can see it has like five points. We can increase the scale of this a bit, and then go into geometry notes. We'll create arm tutorial. And to start off, we're going to turn this curve to points. And we'll change this to length. This we'll adjust later. And um, actually, let's go and get a temporary object in here, like a cube. Scale it down a bit. And then back into geometry nodes. And if we take this, oops, in this, and if we take this cube and add um, an instance on points, and plug this into the instance, and then we'll also get a rotate Euler. And we'll change that to axis angle and plug that into rotation. So that's the basic um, basic geometry nodes for it. It's pretty simple. And then we can adjust this to get um, to adjust to the size of the object that we're using. And if you look now, if you move these in edit mode, it will expand instead of just scaling them. Uh, but now the problem is that since you can only edit this in edit mode, um, when you go to render it or add animations, it doesn't really work. So how to change that is we're actually going to go into edit mode, we'll select that point, and add an empty. I like circles. Um, I'm going to change this to two. Rotate Z by 90, and then if we go into here and click uh, Control H, hook to new object, I'm going to replace this one, the circle, because the circle looks nicer, and then we can delete this old empty. Now in object mode, we can control um, the direction this is moving. So we can go and do that to each of them to do one that's not in the center, uh, hold down shift and S and then go to cursor to selected and then exit back to object mode and add another circle, rotate by 90 again, and then back into here, control H, hook to new object, and we'll place that and delete this one. And I just go and check each time to make sure that I did it properly. Initially, I tried, um, let's see, cursor to selected, and I'll finish my sentence in a second. Control Z. So initially, when hooking to a new object, I tried adding the hook modifier first and then putting in the empty, but for some weird reason that wasn't working for me, so I just had to do the control H route to new object and we'll close these and replace this by the circle delete this one and you just go for each of these vertices doing the same thing so that should be the yeah so that's the arm basically and the next part will be doing the claws.
Okay, so this is how to make the claws for Doc Ock. I created the basic shape of the each finger, I guess, of the claw. Um, and I made sure to have the origin at the base of each of these objects. So, to get started, I'm going to add an armature. And I'm going to rotate on the X to 90, so it's like that. And then if you go into the Object Properties tab, you can click in front. Um, and yeah, so now going into Edit Mode, we'll drag this to the edge of the object. And extrude Y, and extrude Y. From here, we're going to... I'm going to change the shape of it by going to stick. Just looks nicer. And then if we select each of these and then the armature, do control P and parent with automatic weights. Now if we click on the armature, let's make sure it's following the rotation. It seems to be doing pretty good. In my initial arm, I did have to go into weight paint mode to adjust that. Um, it's just because I had like more vertices with my claws than this does, but okay. So the next step is adding in, we'll go back to object mode, and I duplicated the claws, but that's not supposed to happen until after the drivers are added, so just ignore this part. From here, we're going to, I chose a cube, you can choose something else. Um, I'm going to scale it down, but not by the, let's see, let's see a bit like that. And then we'll delete just the faces because I like having the wireframe. Okay, so once we're in pose mode, we're going to take this first bone and we want rotated by the X. So we're going to add a driver and select the controller. And we want to change the rotation of this object by the Z location of the controller. Or Z location. There we go. And we'll do local space so that we can move it around. And if we go back into object mode, we can double check this. Z. And it does appear to be going the wrong way. Um, so to fix that, we'll go into pose mode, edit driver, and make this negative. And it should be fixed. Yep, okay. Now we'll go back into pose mode, and for the second claw segment, we'll do a similar thing. We're going to change this X by the controller's scaling. So we'll do average scale. And if we edit driver and go to local space, I believe we'll have to turn this negative again. Okay. If we go into object mode, scaling this is rotating that part. So if you do the scaling instead of rotation, it's going to change the default size you want this object to be so that the claws are straight. For this third and last part, we can copy this driver and we can paste it here. So let's make sure it works. Scaling this rotates those two. Nice. And then Z rotates the main base. So this is the part I was talking about earlier. At this point, you can copy the, each of the claws because the drivers are already on the armatures and you don't have to worry about copy pasting the drivers to each of them. These I'm going to take and rotate on the Y by 90 and if we turn this arm back on, gotta expand these. So if we go here and select everything and bring it on the X, 
So we gotta apply the location for this. There we go. Now when, when we move it, it'll be normal. And then we can take the initial square that we used and we'll duplicate it and we'll just bring it forward. Y90. Okay. You can parent all these all these claws to here. And even parent the controller so that the whole claw will move with this now. And then you can drag it here and then you can parent this space to this empty. Perfect. So now when you move this, it follows it. Uh, you'll notice that when you change this empty, change the arm, it doesn't follow with this object's rotation. So you just have to kind of, like, if I leave it like that, you'll want to adjust this one so that it's at a nice angle and it, it looks nice. And you can always rotate this one too. So that is essentially Doc Ock arm. This is obviously a very simplified version, but I do have uh, my version up on Gumroad, which is controlled a little differently. Instead of um, scale changing the rotation of these two segments, it's actually the X rotation. So just something to watch out for. My version of these stock awk arms are actually up on Gumroad, so if you would like to get those, I would love to see the videos you make with them, or if you use this video to make your own Doc Ock arms, I hope it goes well, and I'd love to see the results. Even if you're not making a Doc Ock, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll catch you in my next video.